Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to set up your tax settings in your Google Merchant Center Next account. If you don't set these up, you won't be able to run Google Shopping campaigns or Performance Max campaigns. And if you don't set them up correctly, you could get your Google Merchant Center account suspended. Now, Google has different tax requirements depending on where your business is located. Google currently sees the world of taxes as three regions, the United States, Canada, and the rest of the world. We can cover Canada and the rest of the world quite quickly as they're pretty simple. For Canada, you don't need to set anything up. Just know that you can't include taxes as part of the product price. Your taxes must be visible as a separate charge on the checkout page. That's it. For the rest of the world, it's even easier. Simply confirm that you're not in the US. Then Google will assume that any taxes that you're required to collect are just included in the product price. Now let's cover the United States. The tax setting requirements for the United States are more complex because of the differing state requirements. It can also change depending on your business and your products. This is where that professional tax advice is really essential. You can set up the tax rates you need to collect collect at an account level. That's what we're going to look at right here. You can do it at a product level using the product feed. The tax rates that a shopper is shown from here must match or exceed what they're charged at the checkout. This is a strictly enforced rule by Google that you don't want to be on the wrong side of. Now let's walk through setting up the tax settings in Google Merchant Center. Under the products menu, we click on the sales tax tab here. To begin, let's click edit. Now, because Google has our business address already, it's offering a setup here based on that state. You'll see here under sales tax setup that we can choose automatic based on customer location or manual. 99% of the time, you'll want to choose the automatic option. That's because US tax laws can be wildly different from each other. There are times that you're required to collect tax from out of state customers and other times you're not. It depends on which state your business makes its home in. Sometimes it even depends on which state your customer is in. Leaving this to automatic leaves it to Google who understands and stays up to date with these complexities. But of course, you can set it to manual if you're certain of your own tax requirements. Clicking here to show all states, we can now go through each state and set the tax rate we'll collect for each one. The last thing to cover here is whether your charge for shipping the products is taxable. Again, this varies from state to state. I recommend you speak with a professional tax advisor for absolute certainty. My team and I at Key Commerce has put together a table for which states do and do not charge sales tax on shipping that we use for our clients. It's up to date as of this video's recording. And if you want to reference it, please go to the link down below this video. Okay, let's click save and we're done. Okay, that's how we set up our taxes in Google Merchant Center. This video here is actually part of our free Google Shopping course. This is a free course that shows you everything you need to set up, optimize, and scale your shopping campaigns to over 100K per month in sales. Completely free, I'll leave a link down below. Go check it out, it's on our website. Also, if you're already generating 20K per month or more in sales for your e-commerce store, we help e-commerce stores scale to seven figures and above. We do this with Google Ads, Facebook Ads, and conversion rate optimization. We only work with e-commerce and we'd love to help you and talk through the strategy that we would implement for your e-commerce store. You can book a time with my team and I below and we'll talk through how we'll do this for your e-commerce store. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Make sure to click here for the next video in the free course and I'll see you there.